Mr. Potter, you have completed my Rictus Sempra challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. The weekly house point ceremony is about to start. Follow me and I'll show you where it is. Good morning, everyone. For those of you who have trouble remembering names, I am Albus Dumbledore. Headmaster of Hogwarts. Welcome to the very first weekly house point ceremony of the school year. The house with the most points wins a visit to the Bean Bonus Room. The length of the visit depends on how many more points they have over the second placed house. Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Good luck, and remember, you only have a limited time to collect beans. Harry, there you are. Glad I found you. Hello, Wood. 
time for Quidditch practice, Harry. None of the other teams have started training yet, so we'll have a good head start. But I haven't had lunch yet. You can eat later. Follow me to the Quidditch pitch. Hey, Harry, want to trade? What do you have? I have a Nimbus 2001, the best model available to the general public. Suit yourself. Don't know when I'll have these again, though. What do you have? I have a Nimbus 2001, the best model available to the general public. Suit yourself. Don't know when I'll have these again, though. Good old Hagrid's hut. Think the rain will hurt the aubergines? Listen up, Harry. We're going to make sure we win the Quidditch Cup this year, and the way we're going to do that is practice, practice, practice. First, a quick recap of what we learned last year. Of course, you already know that the red ball is called the Quaffle, and it's the job of the three chasers to get it past the enemy keeper and into one of the goalposts. But you don't need to concern yourself with that. There are also two bludgers flying around, which you don't want to get hit by. But don't worry, each team has two beaters who try to keep them away from you. Last, and most importantly, it's your job as our Seeker to catch the Golden Snitch before the enemy Seeker does. Since you've been off all summer, let's start out easy. I'm going to throw up a Snitch for you, and I want you to try to catch it. Sounds easy enough? All right then. You can use your arrow keys to steer your broom left, right, up, and down. Quidditch is a rough game, Harry, but don't worry, the padding helps. You will automatically close in on the snitch. If you have enough beans, you can buy Quidditch upgrades from Fred and George. Now the rest of the Gryffindor team is here, let's play a mock game of Quidditch. Avoid the bludgers and the other Seeker. I'm going to have a Gryffindor stand in as an enemy Seeker. You'll need to make sure she's out of the way before you can catch the Snitch. Don't worry, they'll take it easy on you.
Being hit by a bludger, pushed by the other seeker, or running into things can slow you down and put you further Take behind the snitch. Oh. That's it, Harry. Give them a good nudge so you can catch the snitch. The Nimbus 2001 gives you much needed speed. Remember, Harry, you'll not put your hand out till the enemy seeker is out of the way. Block him! Excellent work, everyone. You're back on form, Potter, which means we've got a great chance of winning the cup this year. Aren't you finished yet, Harry? Don't look now, but here comes the Slytherin team. I don't believe it. I booked the pitch for today. Hey, they've got new brooms and, and it looks like... Yes, they are! They're Nimbus 2001s! Yeah, I know. Apparently, Lucius Malfoy made a very generous donation. Like our new brood, Weasley. What are you doing here, Malfoy? I'm the Slytherin Seeker now. Didn't you know? Perhaps someday Gryffindor will be able to afford new brooms. Well, at least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood. You pay for that one, Malfoy. Well, at least I could afford it, Weasley, unlike you. Leave it, Ron. He's not worth the trouble. Mudblood, the nasty name some wizards use for other wizards who were born to non-magical parents. And speaking of mud, October arrived damply at Hogwarts, spreading a soggy chill over the grounds and into the castle. A different kind of chill would soon set in as well. It's time for potions class with Professor Snape. We don't want to be late. You know what he's like. It's down in the dungeons. Follow me.